that God woke us up this morning. Amen. He gave us another day to live for him. Amen. Thank him for the traveling mercy. Amen. That he allowed me. Amen. Uh, Carrie had to go get some things that she had made for her. Amen. Uh, but we uh, thank God that he kept his hand on us. He watched over Jeff. Amen. This morning, Jeff about he almost went to the floor this morning. Amen. He didn't want to help. And it was all I could do. But I thank God that he gave me the strength. Amen. To do what I had to do. Amen. But God's really uh, doing some things. Amen. Jeff is starting to use that, lift that right leg up. Amen. We have to make him do it, but he, he'll, he'll do it. Uh, I was looking at him today and I was going, don't oh, mess with me like that. He looked over at me and he said, I said, oh, Pluto, sit down. You ain't got that old Popeye. He started laughing. But uh, he is doing better. Eating wise, he ate real good last night. He ate two pieces of pizza and uh, ate some uh, roast beef today. And I thank God that he's eating. Amen. And uh, he's doing better. We just got to get him. His sugar's doing real good. His sugar was what, Cassie, when you took it all ago? 111. Amen. His blood pressure's doing good. Amen. Just thank God for it. Amen. And uh, Brother Don, amen, has been doing better. Amen. Talk to him. Amen. And he good spirits. Amen. They're supposed to be here just in a little bit. Amen. But uh, I actually still remember Brother Don. Remember Brother Wayne's family. Amen. Uh, Brother Wayne lost his uncle. Amen. This week. What was it? I think for yesterday. Yesterday. Amen. His brother got to come home out of the hospital. Amen. Thank God for that. But remember uh, his family. Amen. In your prayers. I actually remember uh, Brother uh, Timmy Brown and Sister Tammy. Amen. In your prayers tonight. Uh, Sister Angela Angela up in North Carolina Amen wants prayer for her and her family and her husband Amen God continue touching them also remember uh, Sister Darlene tonight Brother Morse Amen Sister Darlene's uh, sugar has really really been messing with her and uh, uh, it's running her crazy so after church we're going to try to go by there and pray for her those that wants to help, amen, we're going to go over and pray for them, amen, and God will touch her body, amen. Uh, also remember uh, all the churches around this community, amen, remember those, uh, uh, Brother Jenny and them, amen, Sister Jenny is doing good, amen, I thank the Lord for that, amen, she's really, she's been driving, I mean, she's been going to the stores, and uh, she's really been doing good, so Thank the Lord, amen, that God's still on the healing business, amen. Uh, he, uh, uh, remember Sister Ann Johnson tonight, in your prayers, amen. Also remember uh, Sister Melissa, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Wintringer, amen, and Brother Warren, amen, in your prayers, amen. Uh, she didn't have no blockages, thank the Lord for that. Amen. But her blood pressure is still going out of whack. But that could be because of the COVID. Amen. Because it makes people's blood pressure just do crazy things. But uh, remember them. Amen. I want to get to Glasgow. Uh, Brother Danny. Uh, Aldrich. He texted me a while ago. And Small Ridge. Amen. And he said that uh, remember him. He's got to have some go in and talk to some surgeon or something about his stomach. Amen. He has some issues. Amen. And I told him we'll have special prayer for him tonight here at the church. Amen. So remember Brother Danny and Sister Barbara. Amen. That God would just keep his hand upon them and touch them. Amen. Uh, they uh, want to get back here also be in church with us. So uh, remember them tonight. Amen. Anybody else got a prayer request? Remember the church, church, another church, will always follow the leading of the Lord. I always let the Holy Ghost have his way. Remember all my lost loved ones for all y'all help. I'm supposed to go to Tuesday, the Louisville, for a uh, checkup, so y'all can remember me. Yes, amen. Somebody else? Uh, uh, I'd like to put on the birthday. Remember my friend Jace, who lost his father's attorney on Saturday. Also, remember Teresa and Nancy, her mother passed away the other day. And uh, also, remember this first time about the be 
him in all I hope uh, Quentin a uh, special prayer for that young man that lost his daddy the other day at the wreck. Oh, and the daddy's name is Williams. William yeah. H. Arthur. Yes, amen. So uh, uh, remember that family, amen. Uh, it's tragic. And that uh, it happened. Also today there was two ambulances went out past Carrie's flying, amen. So we don't know what happened there. But uh, pray for those, amen. There's wrecks happening everywhere. Uh, I'm talking, they had so many wrecks out here by Vasco High School with that outer loop right there. It's crazy this week. Amen. So, uh, but remember those, amen, tonight. Uh, also remember uh, uh, remember Ronnie Sausman also. Amen. I'm still trying to think of that point. Amen. But remember Ronnie Salsman. Uh, yeah, Sister Key. Amen. Sister, what's her first name? Doris. Doris. Remember Sister Doris Key. Amen. In your prayers, remember her sister. Amen. Also remember Sister Teresa, uh, her daughter-in-law. Amen. She said the cancer. They said the cancer's come back. Amen. So remember her. Remember Sister Charlotte tonight. Amen. And her son David. Amen. And he'll just surrender his whole heart to God. God don't want half of us. He wants it all. Amen. So uh, I ask you to remember remember them tonight. Uh, remember this service tonight. Pray for each and every one that's here. Amen. Anybody else got a prayer request? Uh, also remember Gary and Paul. Yes. Yes. Amen. Sister Kathy said, uh, pray for Angie. She's covered from head to toe with poison. I can remember Angie's name. Yes, amen. Remember that. Somebody else. Yes, amen. Also remember our live streams, amen. Uh, remember Big O Live, Facebook Live, again, TikTok. Also remember Brother Daryl and Sister Frances Hammer, amen, out in California, Little Artie, amen. Remember Sister Carly Pope and her family, amen. Remember Sister Marjorie Burkett and her family. Uh, Sister uh, Judy McCarty and her family and Sister Lynn and her family. Amen. Out in California. Remember them. Amen. Also remember the, the girl, uh, the lady that watches us on TikTok out of uh, Ar in Arkansas. Or Arizona. Arkansas. Arkansas. Yeah, Arkansas. Amen. Remember them. Amen. Remember her. Oh, there's others, amen, It's on TikTok. So ask us to pray for them, amen. So remember them tonight, amen. Anybody else before we pray? Sister Kathy also says, remember her brother Gary. They said his lung cancer just came back. Yes. Remember Gary Whitney, they were working out his lung the first of the Yes, yes, I, was, I saw that on my phone. Amen. Remember him, amen, tonight. Amen. Uh, pray for the ones that... Uh, saints tonight that God just anoint them. I just like to see God just come in this place tonight and just anoint each and everybody that's here. Well, brother, there ain't that many. But that don't matter. Jesus is here. I stopped Sister Jackie today. She said, if it's preaching tonight, I said, God. She said, well, I know that because he's always there. I said, well, I was going to ask you if you wanted to. <laughs> and it was like, uh, okay. If I can say three words. I said, well, as long as you say be, you be born again. I, that's all you have to say. Amen. That, that three words can do more than uh, 30 or 40 minutes. Amen. <laughs> but I was just cutting up with her, but she knows I was. And uh, But, you know, it's good, amen, to come to God's house and to worship. Amen. We come to praise Him. We didn't come, amen, just to be looked at and be seen. We came to lift Him up. Amen. amen. He said if we would lift Him up, amen, He would draw all men unto us. Amen. Amen. Unto him, amen. And I want to lift him up tonight. 
Amen. I've been reading about heaven. Amen. And heaven's going to be a pretty place. Because the Bible said, eyes has never seen, ears has never heard, nor has it either entered into the heart of man. We don't know what it looks like. But amen, we know one day if we keep on, we're going to go there. And I don't believe it's going to be long. Amen. I believe that we better be ready because he can come any time. I was thinking, you know, the other day, you know, that little game we used to play with these kids. Ready or not, here I come. Amen. Hide and seek. And, and uh, I, I was looking at some, I was reading what Brother Jimmy Wilson had wrote the other day. Amen. When he's up there and up there at Brother Tommy Bates and them. So they went into a Chili's up there and there was nobody around. Just a couple sitting in there. Was no employees, nowhere, nothing. So he went around, looked around, didn't see nobody. Said he told his wife, he said, we done stood here long enough. She, he said, I'm going to go find them. He walked all the way back in the kitchen where they were at. And they was all back there hundred up on their cell phones, just having a good old time. And he said, uh, anybody in here working? <laughs> Amen. He said, that's the way it's going to be when Jesus comes. You're, gonna, you're not going to be able to find people because they're going to be too busy doing other things. Amen. So, uh, but remember... Remember all the, all, all the people, amen, that's not here tonight that God would just move upon them, Brother Johnny and Sister Sherry. I don't know uh, if they're uh, working tonight or not. They went out, yeah, that's right. He said he was going to try to go tomorrow night, but I reckon he decided to go tonight, amen, to Alabama. Amen, because it's uh, Sherry's birthday, and they won't be down there for that. Plus, uh, it's Memorial Day weekend. It won't have all the traffic, so I can understand that. Amen. But uh, I actually remember all those that, uh, amen, that uh, God has put in our path here at the church. You know, there's uh, Brother uh, Ray and Sister Linda and uh, uh, Brother Danny. Uh, my cousin, he don't come no more, but remember him. Also remember Brother Kevin uh Tonight, amen. He's a pain. Uh, he's got some issues that God has to take care of, health wise. Amen. Uh, as you remember him, also remember, uh, I'm trying to think of their names. What bought our air conditioner? Uh, Jeff Terry and Tanya. Amen. Remember them. Remember Tanya and Gavin. Where Tanya, amen, has done something to her arm again. Amen. Uh, remember the ones that's going to be graduating tomorrow night at uh, Midcap County. Amen. Uh, that God be, they ain't very many, but that God be with them to watch over them. Amen. Unspoken quest by the raising of your hands. Amen. You can pray at your seat or pray at the altar.
still want us to bring life away then to love takes up tonight's offering and then give what God lays on your heart and he'll bless you. Praise the Heavenly Father, we come to you this evening. Lord, we ask you, please bless this offering. Please bless those that have given and please those that do not. Lord, also we ask you, please use this offering for the uplifting of your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.
road is called up yonder. I'll be there. Amen. That's a message in itself. Amen. Are you on the right road when it's being called? The road. The road. Amen. The road call. Amen. When he calls your name, are you on the right road call? Amen. I'll get it right here in a minute. Amen. Uh, you know, sometimes, amen, we, we're, on a, we're on a road call, but we ain't on the right one. Amen. But I'm so glad, amen, that we know, amen, when our name is called. Amen. If we're ready to go, we're going to be with Jesus. If we're not, then we're not going to be with him. Amen. I heard somebody say, well, you need to be getting ready. No, you should not already be ready. Amen. You don't have plenty of time to get ready. Amen. Now you got to stay ready. Amen. Because when you get ready to go on a vacation, you pack everything you got in a suitcase that you're going to take. And if you ain't got everything in there when you leave, then you can't you can't turn all the way around back and come back after you get down there. Say, well, I'm going to turn around and go back. Well, it's done too late because you done already drove 400, 500 miles. Who's going to turn around and go back and get what you left? Amen. Same way with Jesus. Amen. You better make sure you got it already packed. You don't have to worry about it. Sure you got it in your heart. Amen. It, it's it's one thing, amen, to, you know, I, I heard somebody say the other day, they said, well, everybody says they're a Christian. I said, everybody says they're a Christian. They ain't a Christian. Right. Amen. Because to be a Christian, you got to be Christ-like. And I see a lot of people that ain't Christ-like. Amen. Amen. It calls herself a Christian. Amen. If Jesus wouldn't do it, we shouldn't do it. Amen. amen. That goes for us, too. Amen. amen. I ain't living myself out. Amen. If Jesus won't do it, we shouldn't do it. Amen. If Jesus ain't going to cuss somebody up, you shouldn't cuss somebody no, else. Amen. amen. I, I thought about that the other day. I heard somebody say something. I thought, man, you said you was a Christian and here. You're talking like that. Mm -hmm. Jesus don't talk like that. Amen. I was like, Brother Michael, I was like, you know, what, what are you showing people? What kind of light are you showing people? What are you showing people? Amen. Same way with us. What kind of light are we showing people? Amen. I was thinking, Brother Wayne, boy, he got right on it. We done got approved for, or, or what do you call it? Water service. The what? The water service. Amen. We done got, we done got it. It's done already. Uh, it's ours. The 25th of June, it's ours. Amen. God, God's right on it. Amen. And I'm looking for a good time at the water service. Amen. What are you talking about, brother? Are you going to be baptizing? No, I just said we're going to have a water service. If, if somebody wants to be baptized, hey, we'll dump them. Is that right, Brother Wayne? Amen. We'll, we'll put them under. But listen, listen, I'm going to tell you up straight up. Amen. If you get saved and you don't want to be baptized right away, you're not going to go to hell. I, I get tired of hearing people say, well, if you ain't baptized, you're going to, let me tell you something. Once you get saved, and you really get saved, then the Lord will lay it on your heart when to be baptized. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Just because somebody comes and prays at this altar tonight, I ain't going to take them and dunk them under the water. Right. Amen. Unless they say, Brother Miller, will you take me and baptize me? Right. That's the only way. But I'm not going to force somebody to be baptized just because they got saved. Amen. Amen. Uh, Jesus has to deal with people's hearts. Amen. And some people are afraid of water. Amen. Some people don't want to go into the water. So they have to get their spirit and their courage built up. Amen. Well, Brother Miller, it's Bible. The Bible says you're supposed to baptize them when they get saved. Where's that at? Where's that at? I know what Peter says, but Jesus said, amen, that the thief on the cross, when he died, amen, he didn't take him down off that cross and baptize him before they went into heaven. <laughs> amen. Well, Brother Miller, that ain't what you read the Bible. Pray about it. Amen. There's too many people fussing and fighting over baptism. Let me tell you something. When Jesus said there in Matthew chapter 25, Himself, his writing, he said, I'm going to have you to go out by twos. And I want you to go out and I want you to baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. That was Jesus. Who do you want to believe, Peter or Jesus? 
Whose word is more important? Jesus. Jesus. Who are you going to go see one day? Jesus. Peter? No, I'm going to go see Jesus. Amen. And amen, he's the one that tells me, amen, what I have to do. Amen. The Holy Ghost, amen, is my leader. He's my teacher. He's my guider. Amen. And a lot of people say, well, I, 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 let me tell you something. I don't argue with nobody. On, if they won't be baptized in the name of Jesus, that's them. Amen. I don't tell nobody that they can't do that. And I don't want nobody to tell me I can't baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Right, if we can't get along here on earth, then we're not going to get along in heaven and we're not going to make it. Right. So there will be a lot of people that's not going to make it to heaven because they can't get along with one another here on earth. Because right. my Bible says don't argue the Word of God. Right. And when you try to argue those things, then you're doing wrong. Right. If you want to be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, Jesus' name that's up to you. Yeah. Amen? If you want to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and Yahweh, that's up to you. Mm -hmm. Yahweh is Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen? So you're not, you're not losing out. If you want to be baptized in the Holy Spirit, amen, you can be baptized in the Holy Spirit. But listen, Jesus called it the Holy Ghost. Amen? But we have to work out, like Sister North said, we got to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling before the Lord. Amen. And I try to work my own out myself. Let me tell you something. Brother David Miller has faults himself. Amen. Sister Nora has faults herself. Amen. We all do. If you say you don't, then you need to be on the altar. Amen. Because we all, amen, got to work on our own self. Amen. And I, I don't I don't argue nobody. If they the Bible said if they're for you, you're not against you. Amen. Amen. So if people love me for who I am, I love them for who they are. Right. I can go to service and I can worship with the Jesus only. Amen. I can go to the Baptist and I can worship with the Baptist. Amen. I can go with the Methodist and worship with the Methodist. Amen. Amen. I've never been to the Catholics, so I don't know what to say on that part. But I can't go in there and say Hail Mary. Amen. And I can't go pray to her, amen, but I have to pray to Jesus. But I don't argue with them, amen. I don't fuss with them about it, amen, because we can't do that. Amen. If you read the Bible, it tells us, amen, how we have to live and how we have to walk. Amen. But I don't know why I said that, but God does, amen. Too many people, is they, they got religion, but they ain't got Christianity. Amen. They, they got their religion name. They got their name over the doors. Amen. But they ain't really got salvation. Because salvation, amen, will change things. Amen. Because listen, Paul said, I didn't come with men with enticing words. Amen. Of man's wisdom. But he came with God. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a deep. That's not a Preachers got to do what they got to do. <laughs> I didn't want to get stung by it. That wasn't one of them would be. That was a bumblebee. <laughs> yeah. See, when you start talking about Jesus, the devil wants to try to throw his old ugly head. He best come in by a bee. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Ghost flash water. <laughs> Amen. Amen. All right. I'm going to ask the... Sister Cassie come to start us off. Uh, Brother Don is on their way. He's driving. He won't let nobody else drive him. Because yeah, the other day he was driving. They, they drove him home from after having chemo. He got sick. Because he don't he can't drive a ride with somebody driving. So he's driving real slow. But they will be here. But he is coming because he told me. Let me tell you good news. After he was going to get his chemo the other day, they kept telling him that he didn't have an appointment. He said, yes, I do. I've got it, but they didn't want to give it to him again. He said, I'm taking my chemo. He said, because i got an appointment. Then he thought, well, he ain't got his medicine. And then this, and then he, Kathy was crying. She was like, oh. Brother Don looked at her and said, listen, me and God's done already talked about it, and God said, I've got it. 
so I don't have to have to worry. Amen. Well, Sister Kathy just hushed in. Amen. Don has never said nothing like that. He said, God's done told me that everything's going to be all right. I've got it. Amen. So thank the Lord for that. Amen.
Jesus and cried holy.
Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Signs of the time. Amen. Are here. Amen. People say, well, Brother Miller, I ain't seen them. You ain't been watching them. Right. Amen. Because they're here. Is that right, Brother Wayne? They're happening every day right before your eyes. Every day, right before your eyes, it's happening. Things are taking place. Amen. I've been watching over in Israel things that's going on over there. Amen. The things that's happening over there. Amen. The coming of the Lord is nigh. Brother Michael, it's real nigh. Amen. It's close. Amen. It's closer than a lot of people realize it. I was reading today, I was finishing up, amen, in Isaiah, I was finishing up my last chapters of in Isaiah, amen, and God began to speak to me on something, amen, and I thought, Lord, I need it, amen, I needed this, I needed this word, amen, I began to look up some things in the word, amen, and the Bible talks about these names, and he called these names out. Brother Wayne, and I looked the names up, and they were the grandsons of Noah. Amen. Noah's grandsons. Amen. And, uh, one of Noah's grandsons was called Lou. Amen. And the other one was called Paul. Amen. The other one was called Javan. And I began to look them up and what they meant and what the names meant. Amen, Sister Jackie and I began to look up there because back when the Bible days, when they gave them names, they meant something. Amen. Amen, just like my name, your name, it means something. Amen, and I began to look the name up, and I began to look at them. And amen, as I began to look, Brother Wayne, amen, Tarsus came up. Well, who went to Tarsus? Wanted to go to Tarsus instead of going and doing what God told him to do. Jonah. Jonah. Amen. Jonah thought I'd get on the ship and I'll go to Tarsus. You know what was in Tarsus? It was beautiful. Tarsus was a beautiful city. It was a, 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 a place, amen, where the ships and, and all of that came in and that's where the, the money and all that stuff was at. And, and Jonah said, well, I'll go to Tarsus instead of going to Nineveh. Because, see, Nineveh was a wicked city. He wanted to go to the good city. And I thought about how people in the world today, if I can go to Las Vegas and get out there in Las Vegas, man, that's a beautiful place in Las Vegas. I thought, oh, my goodness. Sin City. That's a Nineveh. <laughs> Amen. That's Nineveh. Amen. It's a wicked place. I mean, it's so wicked. Man, you go out there and they'll, pros they'll, they'll proposition you right there in the elevator, right there in the restaurants. Amen. They'll sit there and smoke their dope right in front of you. Wouldn't even think nothing about it. And a lot of people, Disney World has become their place to go to. Christians will go to Disney World every day of the week. They'll, they'll make plans to go. They'll spend millions of dollars, thousands of dollars, amen, to go to Disney World. Sin City. And as I begin to read here in Isaiah, the last six chapters of the Bible, God began to show me something, Sister Jackie. And I thought, Lord, I realize now how come you destroy Sodom and Gomorrah? Because it was a wicked city. It was an evil city. And I begin to think about Chicago and how Chicago murder on every hand. I begin to think about New York City. Walk down the road, a woman about Jackie's age walking down the road and some guys start beating her up and hitting her and knocking her down in the street. That old woman couldn't take care of herself. Amen. Wicked cities. I thought about Louisville, Kentucky. And how every day you get on the news and you hear somebody being shot. A cop got shot. 
You hear about people being killed. You hear about all these students going home. Ain't so wicked city. Well, Brother Miller, what are you talking about? See, before Brother Wayne, the church is took out of here, God's going to send somebody to warn them that Jesus is coming. Because, see, if you read the Bible, amen, he told Noah to build an ark. And before the world was destroyed, God told him to put all the animals in there, right. clean and unclean. Yeah. Told him to get his wife and his sons and their wives and enter into the ark. And he would shut the door. Right. But how many days did it take? How many years? It was 120 years that he preached. Took him that long to build an ark. And God got him out of there before the city was destroyed. Before the world was destroyed, he took them out. Right. Then I thought about Lot. And how that Lot, amen, was in that city, that wicked city. Supposed to be a light, but Lot was a backslider. He was a righteous man, but he was a backslider. Amen, his wife, amen, they enjoyed the things of that city. Their son-in-laws, they didn't care about their wives. They wanted to be in the city, the wicked city. But see, we're supposed to be a light in the middle of the city. Amen. Come on, church. Amen. Listen to what he said in Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1. Arise, shine, for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Y'all hear that? Amen. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. What's happening right now? Mm -hmm. Darkness represents sin. Right. What's happening to the United States of America? Darkness has come over it. Sin has hovered over the United States of America. Right. Sin, amen, is covered. Darkness, amen, there's homosexuality, there's prostitutes, there's... Uh, devil worshipers. There's all kinds of stuff that's hovering over the United States of America. Drugs. Alcohol. Everything you can mention. It's even getting into the churches. The darkness is covering the land. And God said, I wanted you to rise and shine forth. Amen. And people say, well, Brother Miller, I don't understand that. I didn't either until I began to read it. Amen. Darkness, amen, is at night. And when does a lot of things happen? It happens at night. When does the devil come to your house? Not in the daytime. He comes in at night to try to discourage you. When you try to go to sleep, he tries to get in your ear. Get into your mind. He tries, he'll try to shake your chairs. He'll rattle your bed. He'll feel like something underneath your bed ever pushing you up. You ever been laying there and feel something just get under you and look like it's lifting you up? And I I I begin to look at that, Brother Wayne, and how the world today has got darkened. But not only is the world darkened, the church world has got darkened. Amen. God showed us the other night. Amen. That we have to sing a new song. Amen. We got to let our light shine. Amen. So the world can see who? Amen. Us? No. Amen. Listen to what he said. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. What's happening? This is Isaiah prophesying. And the gross darkness. <laughs> Boy, are we not in that right now? Amen. Listen. The people. But the Lord shall rise, uh, arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. He's talking about those that's made their self ready. I 
Isaiah was saying, God has got some people that's going to rise above the darkness. Amen. amen. He's got some people, amen, that's going to shine their light forth so the world can see through the darkness. Right. So the drug addict can see that there is still hope. That there still is a light that's still shining bright. Amen. 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 Well, and the Gentiles shall come to the what? Thy light. light. And the kings to the brightness of thy raising. Lift up thine eyes around and about and see all thy great thy gathering themselves together. They come to thee. The sun shall come from far. And thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side. Then thou shalt see and flow together. And thine heart shall fear and be enlarged because the abundance of the sea shall be covered, converted unto thee. The force of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. Amen. And go down here the verse number 19. Amen. It's in verse number 18. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting nor destruction within thy borders. But thou shalt call thy walls salvation, and thy gates praise. The sun shall be no more the light by day, neither for brightness, Shall the moon give light unto thee, but the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light, and thy God and thy glory. The sun shall no more go down, neither shall the moon withdraw itself, for the Lord shall be thine everlasting light, and the day of thy morning shall be ended. Thy people also shall be all righteous, they shall in, in, inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting, the works of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand, and the small a strong nation. And the Lord will, I the Lord will hasten it in his time. Amen. Now go with me. The St. John's Gospel. Amen. Chapter number 1 and verse 5. Or verse 4. He said, In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness, the darkness comprehended it not. Amen. Isaiah was foretelling us what was going to take place. All right. This is Bible prophecy. Amen. And darkness has hit the United States of America. Right. Not only the United States of America, but all over this landing country, the darkness has hit. Gloomness. Amen. Look at up there in Canada, smoke just rolling all over the place and it's done in the United States of America. But I'm not talking, I'm talking about darkness. I'm talking about sin. Amen. It's on the rampage. Sin is getting wickeder and wickeder every day. People in the house of God, amen, committing fornication and adultery. Uh, amen. Doing things that's unseemly and unright. Uh, amen. Before God. But God said, I'm going to raise them up uh, and I'm going to give them a light that will shine forth. Uh, amen. To the darkness. Uh, amen. God's got people that's with to rise up, amen, and let the light shine through them. I want this little light of mine to shine bright, amen. I want people to see, amen, that he's a light community church, amen, 
is a light of city that sets yeah. upon a hill uh, that cannot be hid. Uh, we've been shaken. Uh, amen. We've been tossed. We've been born. Uh, amen. But we're still shining forth. Uh, amen. We're still preaching the gospel. We're still telling yeah. people about Jesus. We're still showing them the light. Yeah. Hallelujah. We got to be the light of the world. Amen. We got to be the light of the world. Amen. Matthew. Amen. Matthew. Chapter 5. Amen. Not chapter 5. Let me find it here. Amen. It talks about, amen, in Matthew, about being the salt of the earth. We are the salt of the earth. And if its salt has lost its savior, then where can it be salted? Amen. We've got to let our light shine before men. Amen. We've got to let our light shine out in this world. Amen. We've got to be the one that God says, rise up and shine. I remember it being in camp, youth camp. Amen. Them counselors would come in and say, they would beat and they would bang and they'd say, rise and shine. It's time to give God some glory. Yeah. Amen. They got a song, that little kid song, rise and shine. Give God glory, glory, glory. Amen. It's time, amen, that the church begin to rise. Amen. It's time that we begin to rise and let it shine forth. Amen. When God spoke the other day and said, have a river uh, service. Amen. God said, I want you to let your light so shine before men. Amen. Let me tell you something, church. We can stay in the church building, but our lights are shining to the ones here. But he said to go out in the highways and the byways and the hedges and compel them into the house of the Lord. So we got to go where they're at. Amen. And let the light of God shine forth. Dress like we're supposed to dress. Be holy. Amen. Dress like God would want us to dress. Amen. To let the light shine. Matthew 5 and 13. I know you're there somewhere. Amen. Hallelujah. Matthew 5 and 13. Amen. It said, let's just read verse 12. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Jesus said they persecuted the prophets before us. Amen. Listen what verse 13 says. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has lost its Savior, wherewith shall it be salted? It is henceforth good for nothing, but be cast out and to be trodden underfoot by men. Listen to verse 14. Ye are the light of the world, a city that sits on a hill that cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under the book under a bush, but on a candlestick, and give and it gives light unto all that are in the house. Amen. Listen. Amen. When God showed me that today in Isaiah there, amen, he said it's time that we arise and start shining. Amen. Because God is pleased with us to rise and shine. Amen. The glory of God will come upon us. Amen. If we'll be willing to say, Lord, I'll pass everything 
everything up just to follow you. I'll give up the things of this world to get closer to you. Amen. I'll push a plate back to get closer to you. I want to rise and I want to shine forth. Amen. I want to be a light in the middle of the darkness. Amen. I want to be one of them. Amen. It can go out in the streets of Glasgow, Kentucky. Amen. It can tell people to come unto the house of the Lord. Amen. I want to see somebody saved. I want to see somebody set free and delivered. But we got to let our light shine, church. We got to rise up. We got to rise. He said, arise. Amen. There in Isaiah. Amen. He said, arise. Arise. Amen. You've been dead too long. Arise. Amen. The church world is dead. I'm just going to tell you. The church world, I'm not talking about the spiritual church. I'm talking about this worldly church. They're dead. And they need somebody with the light to go in the middle of them and begin to preach the gospel and shine the light forth and say, let me tell you, Jesus is coming. If you don't get ready, you're going to split hell wide open. Amen. You're going to be left behind. If Jesus would come to your house today, would you be ready? I listened to that old young man sing that song. The other night, and I thought, Lord, we got to rise. He said, those that are alive and remain shall be called up to be with him hereafter. But first, he said, the dead in Christ shall what? Rise. Rise first. Amen. Dead in Christ. Yeah. See, Jesus died. He died on that cross that day. Sister Jackie, but he told his disciples, he said, on the third day, I will arise. I'm going to come forth on the third day, and I'm going to go be with my father. But you can't touch me because I haven't ascended yet to him because I ain't got my glorified body yet. Amen. Right. I still have this old fleshly body. But I gotta go to get my glorified body. Yep. <laughs> Listen, this old body's not gonna go to heaven. This old body's gonna go to the dust. Brother Michael, this old dirty body that we've got, right. amen, it's gonna go back to the dust. <laughs> but our soul's gonna live on. The soul of man. Sister Jackie's going to live on. The soul of a woman is going to live on. Somewhere. But the Bible said that we were going to arise. We're going to meet him in the air. And I believe as soon as we arise, Sister Bonnie, our, our soul is going to be transformed into that glorious body. And if you're 80 or 90 year old, you're not going to be that when you get to heaven. You're going to have a glorified body. Won't be no more sickness. There won't be no more death. There won't be no more dying. There won't be no more crying. Won't be no more sadness. There won't be no more cancer. There won't be no more diabetes. There won't be no more heart problems. There won't be no more eyeglasses. There won't be no more canes and walkers and scooters and Amen. There won't be no more ear hearing aids for people. Amen. We're going to be able to hear. We're going to be able to. The Bible said we'll be known as we're known. Right. Uh, amen. We'll be known as we're known. How do you know that? Because Jesus knows. Amen. Who Paul was. He knows who Peter was. Amen. Peter knows who Jesus was. Amen. You say, well, how do you know that, Brother Miller? Read the Bible. Amen. He said, we are the city. The city that's set on a hill. He said, a man don't put a, his light, on, uh, put his candle under a bushel. Amen. Because if you try to hide, he said, if you be ashamed of me, this is what he was trying to say. If you be ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you before my father. So when you're at Walmart, he says, I want you to say something. You say, oh, no, I better not do that, Lord. 
that you ain't arising and you ain't shining forward. Well, God, I, I there you went. You put that bushel over your camera. How many of y'all been somewhere and God said, I want you to tell somebody about me? And you'll go. You'll put that bushel over. Let me tell you something. We've all been there. But God said it's time for us to arise and shine. Shine through what? That old thick darkness, brother. Yeah. That old thick darkness that's so dark. Amen. It's so dark and gloomy. Sister Kathy. Amen. I, I was thinking. Amen. I, I get I do when I start thinking, man, it's just like God starts throwing things at me. But Isaiah 60, he said, Arise. I thought about Mr. Clean. <laughs> Anybody ever thought about Mr. Clean sometime? That old bald head, but man, when he cleans something, it shines like new honey. Huh? Huh? You ever seen that? Now he's got a magic racer. <laughs> Brother Michael, it's time some of us get a bald head and start shining. That's it. Amen. It's time that we. Amen. Start letting God shine forth. I remember years ago, Christians, amen, when they would get up off the altar, they'd be a glow about their face. Yep. They would shine. But as they got older and older, guess what? That shine began to go away. Amen. That glow and begin to go away. Why? Because darkness had started coming over them. Amen. They got old me, old ism. Amen. They got that old me spirit. Uh, amen. They got that uh, uh, a spirit. Amen. The same. I can't. I can't. I can't. Amen. But that little train, you need to be like that little choo-choo train. Says I can. I can. I can. I, I can let my light shine. I can let my light shine. I can let my light shine. Uh, amen. It's time people begin to rise uh, and let their light shine. Uh, amen. Rise up and shine. Uh, amen. I remember years ago. Uh, amen. I used to walk around around Sister Jackie to school and I'd always look down on the parking lot Amen. and I always looked at the road because sometimes I might find me a quarter or a nickel or a dime Sister Bunny and it'll shine for just like real well back then Brother Wayne we would find them silver dollars and one day we moved at this house there in Columbus on Sycamore Street Amen. And I was out there around the old tree that was in the backyard. And I was playing with my little trucks and cars, you know. Sister Jackie and I had one of them little kid shovels that you play in the sandbox with. And I thought, well, I'm going to dig around Daddy's tree a little bit. Make me a dirt bank, you know, for my trucks. And I was a digging. Man, I started digging up quarters. But I thought, Lord, have mercy. And I kept digging them quarters up, and I began to look at them. Man, they was dingy and dirty, grimy. So I thought, well, we got a coin shop. When we go to school, I stopped by and showed him one of them quarters. And I went by to show him one of them quarters, and he said, well, son, you ain't got nothing but a quarter. I said, well, I know that, but I said, what's it worth? Well, if you had to clean it up, it probably didn't work more than what it was. Did you know you're worth more to Jesus if you let him clean you up than you try to clean yourself up? Amen. Did you know that? That's what's wrong with church world today. Amen. They try to clean other people up instead of letting Jesus clean them up. Amen. A coin collector. Amen. He'll take them coins. Yes, Lord. And he'll try to clean them up. And the value's gone. Right. Same way with preachers that try to clean people up. Right. And guess what happens? They don't stay clean. They don't stay clean. Right, man. We talk about read, read, read the New Testament. Paul, he was telling about a hog. You take that old sow out and you clean her up, you can wash her up, you can make her real pretty, put a red bow on her if you want it to, amen, and let her go, and guess where she's going to go? She's going to go back to that mud hole. Paul was trying to give you an example. You can't clean them up. Right. But when Jesus does, they're clean. Right. I know about Sister Kathy's father. She said, she said, well, I've got my jeans on. I said, don't worry about that. Right. 
Jesus will take care of the rest. Right. Amen. 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 I can clean you up, but it wouldn't do me no good because you would get mad at me. Amen. And you would do it your own self just to do it. Amen. Right. But if Jesus tells you to quit and clean yourself up, you'll give it up and you won't Amen. have to worry about it. Amen. But there's a lot of preachers today, amen, they try to clean people up instead of letting God do it. Amen. 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 They ain't letting their light shine like they're supposed to. Amen. Because they think they're more holier. I read about people thinking they were holier than thou in the Bible. Right. And God brought them down to their size. Amen. Amen. Because they thought they were better than other ones. God said, uh-uh, I'll bring you down low. Right. I'll show you you ain't no better than anybody else. You ain't holier than anybody else. Right. Yes, Lord. Amen. I don't claim to be holier than anybody else. Amen. But I will tell you, sin is sin. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 See, I didn't tell Brother Jared that he had to quit drinking his alcohol. Yes, Lord. All right. God touched him. God touched him. Mm -hmm. That Sunday Amen. morning right there. Not stains there too. Yep, Amen. Lord. But he's ain't, ain't took a drop of, of alcohol since then. Why? Because Jesus done it. Amen. The blood of Jesus Christ cleans you up. Amen. Amen. Barbie told me the other day. She said, I gotta get rid of these things. She said, she said I'm gonna let it. And when Jesus tells me to do it, I'll do it. Amen. That's right. Captain Lord. Amen. Amen. I had somebody ask me the other day, Brother Miller. Did you ever go to church with blue jeans on? I said, on Thursday nights, yeah. I said, if I take an ocean, I'll wear on Sunday morning. Yep, and Lord. You mean you wear jeans to church? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I ain't, I ain't, ain't you supposed to wear suit coats, yep, suit pants, and, you know, dress, you know. I said, listen, listen, amen, come. Come just like you are. Right, amen. Because Jesus said he would no wise cast this out. Amen. Amen. There's some churches won't let people come through their door. They ain't letting their ladies rise them and shine them. They won't let them come through the door because they smell bad. Right. Or because they're not dressed the way they should be dressed. Amen. Amen. They get, they'd rather push a homeless person away, amen, instead of saying, come on in. But right. that ain't what my Bible said. The Bible said to rise and shine, amen, and go to the highways and the hedges and compel them to come into the house of the Lord. Who was he talking about? And then he told him, he said, there's a marriage. He said, I want you to go out and I want you to build my marriage. I want you to build the chapel. Amen. Go out and get them out in the world. Don't worry about them if they're saved. Amen. You just go get them and bring them in. Amen. I'll do the rest. God is the one that cleans you up. I can't clean you up, but God can. Amen. If you will let him. Amen. Amen. Well, Brother Miller, huh? I told y'all. We're going to have them come in here with tattoos. Uh -huh. We're going to have them come in here with piercings everywhere. Uh -huh. But can I tell you what I read in the Bible the other day? See, there's a word in the Bible. You look that word up, it runs reference back to the Old Testament. But God himself said, don't put nothing on your body that talks about the dead. Yep. Don't glorify the dead because the dead is dead. Right. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about, Brother Miller? He said, don't have no markings or no cuttings on your body. Mm -hmm. But what you've done out in sin, you've done out in sin. Yep. When you come to Jesus Christ, guess what? It's all washed away. He ain't going to look at your tattoos on your arm now. He ain't going to look at that on your leg now. He ain't going to look at that. It's washed away. It's under the blood. But if you do it after you get under the blood, then you're on God's trouble. Because he'll be knocking at your door. Amen. I know women. Amen. That, oh, I'm a child of God. I'm a true born again Christian. Go out and get a tramp stamp put on their back. Amen. And thought it was so great coming and bragging about it. They pull their britches, uh, their skirt down or their pants down to show people, look what I just went and done. Right. After being 
born again, you don't go do the things of the world. Amen. Amen. You got to let it shine forth. You got to read your Bible every day. Well, Brother Miller, you're going to not have nobody come. Let me tell you something. What you done out in sin, you done in sin. If you fornicated in sin, you get forgiveness for it. You committed adultery while you was a sinner, and you come to God, you're forgiven. Plain and simple. Because Jesus, amen, God said, amen, I'll take your sins, and I'll throw them as far as the east as from the west, and I won't bring your past up. Your past is gone. Your past is gone. But if you go do it when you get saved, what did he tell them in the Bible? He said, go and sin no more unless worse your things come upon you. He told the woman that was caught in the very act of adultery. He said, where are thy accusers? Huh? They ran away. They left you. He said, neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. Amen. In other words, once he forgive you, you don't go back out and do those things that you used to do. Amen. How can you let your light shine? I heard somebody the other day, a preacher, I thought, oh my God, he's not a preacher. Amen. He said, but it's all right. Joyce Myers is one of them. She went and got her a tattoo. Mm-hmm. Yes, got her another one. Before long, she's going to have them all over her body. And guess what? She's on dangerous grounds. Because she's making fun. Because she said, these holy of their vow preachers are telling people it's wrong to have tattoos of the Bible. Don't say nothing about it. She better get back in her word. She needs to get in there and rightly divide the word of God. But that one preacher was saying, well, I tell people that it's all right if they want to drink, it's okay. Because, see, your sins was nailed to the cross when the cross was, when Jesus went to the cross. All of your sins was nailed to the cross. So it's okay if you want to go do that. Well, wait a minute. If that was the case, then Bonnie can go back to the ball. Why not? Why not? Amen. Oh, Brother Miller. Man, you just get right there. How can you let you, how can you rise and shine if you let stuff like that go on in the house of God? Amen. Amen. If you let stuff like that go on. Take another drink. Amen. You got preachers, amen, that'll go around, amen, and they know somebody's doing something that ain't they shouldn't be doing, and they'll pat them on the back and say, well, God said, amen, that it was all right. It was already, I had it all in the program. Amen. That goes against the word of God. I don't know what kind of God you talk to, but the one I talk to says it's wrong. Then they want to get on there and justify for themselves. Try to make you try to make you look like the bad person. How can you shine forth when people know what you've been doing? Amen. Darkness has covered the church world. And a lot of God's pre- ones that says they've been called to preach is being blinded by the darkness of this world. And you know what part of that is? It is right here. There's young evangelists out there thinking, boy, I'm going full time. Man, it's an opportunity to make this money. Well, let me tell you something. Get in some of these old evangelist shoes that used to walk the floor, used to walk the talk. Amen. And they would pray nights and nights and nights and nights and nights before they would go out and preach a revival. They would fast and they would fast. And go preach a week's revival, get a handful of pennies. Not knowing where the next meal is going to come from. But God provided. I seen this young black guy. Call him Prophet something. I forget what his name is. He said, well, if Joel Osteen can make that much money, I can make it too. I'll prophesy to you. I'll tell you this and I'll tell you that if you'll send me this much money. Let me tell you something. That's not rising up and shining. That's bringing darkness upon the church world. And people are falling right into it, Sister Kathy. They're falling into that trap. 
Isaiah was trying to tell us there in Isaiah chapter 60, he was trying to tell us, Sister Jackie, that we have to rise above that. We got to rise above the darkness that's taking place. There's drugs on every hand. Fentanyl, just like crazy. We went to, when Carrie was in, Jeff was in Nashville. Sister Jackie, I pass by this graveyard every day. Every, every Monday when I go back down there, I pass by that graveyard. Every Friday when I got ready to leave, or Saturday, I pass by that graveyard. Sister Kathy, brand new graves all over that graveyard. Just your body where people was dying with fentanyl. People were dying with fentanyl. Brother Michael wanted to hurry up and dig a grave and put them in. Hurry up and put them in the ground. You see, they have to watch when they involve them because that fentanyl is dangerous. Even though if it's done in that in the bloodstream, it's still dangerous. See, the devil is roaming to and fro. In our school systems, you try to say, can I go in and preach about Jesus? No. No. I guarantee you I can ask Barron County if I can come and preach to those children next year in the school, and they'll tell me no. No, you can come and say, but you let a devil worshiper come in and say, I want to teach them about Santanic. Come on in. You let a transgender go in there. You let a uh, drag queen go in there. Can I teach your children? Yeah, come on in. What kind of world are we living in, church? We're living in a dark world. And darkness has overtaken the things. But God said that it was only going to last for a few seasons or the way. Our economy is getting worse and worse and worse. Went in the store the other day and that shelf was bare. There was hardly nothing in the store. I went in rumors the other day and I was like, wow, what happened here? Brother Wayne, it's just like boom, the shelves is empty. Out in California, they're trying to pass a law that semis can't even come in out there if they're not electric. They don't want the diesel out there. What's going on, church? The church better wake up, but we fix to leave here. But we got to rise and shine first. As he said here in Isaiah, listen, listen. He said, arise and shine, for thy light is come. Who is the light? Jesus. Isaiah said, he has come. The light. Jesus is the light. He's the light, and he also is the light of the world. The Bible said that we won't need no light in that city. There won't be no need for lights. There won't be no ceiling fans. Brother Michael, but he said Jesus will be the light of that city. Right. He will be the light of that city. Why? Because he is the Son of God. And guess what else? <laughs> Thank you, Holy Ghost. We're going to shine for it too because we also are the light. Because he put a light inside of us. And you talking about a bright city. Oh, my, my, my. I said, what ago? Eyes has never seen. Ears has never heard. Neither has it entered into the hearts of men what God has prepared for right. us. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Let me tell you something. A rising sign, church. We got something fixing to happen June the 25th. I don't know what's going to happen, but I know something good's going to happen. Amen. Because God ordained it. He made it where we can get the place. Amen. There's going to be sinners there. Amen. There's going to be boats all over the lake. Amen. And they're going to come and they're going to hear the word of God. And they're going to hear Emma and Quentin singing. And they're going to say, where's that coming from? Where them young people come from? They're letting their light shine. Amen. They're singing for the Lord. Hey, we're going to have the works, man. We're going to have the PA system. We're going to have the drums. We're going to have the keyboard. Amen. We're having the works. We're having church. And we're not only going to stop there. We're going to get a hold of these campgrounds on a Sunday morning. 
and see if we can't go down there and have church on the campers. Brother Miller, you done lost no I ain't. How you gonna win souls? Well, why somebody wants to come to the church? We'll put a sign and say, hey, meet us down here at the lake. Or meet us down here at this campground. We have a church. But we'll let them know ahead of time. Well, Brother Miller, you done lost your mind. No, I ain't. No, I ain't. Hey, might not have a tent, but that's all right. We'll be out in the open. We got a shelter down there, don't we, Brother Wayne? We got restrooms down there. Amen. Hallelujah. What would y'all do one night, one day? We go down there and we're preaching to somebody. Somebody comes there and docks their boat and says, Hey, I'll be a prey. I heard y'all singing. I heard those two young people singing. Man, something got a hold of my heart and it just pulled my anchor this way. And the anchor holds. Uh, hey man, you say, Brother Miller, you got a, the Bible said a man without a vision, he perish. Hey man, I want to see souls say, church, we got to get out there and get them in. Hey man, the Bible said go to the highways and the hedges and compel them. Compel them means to get them and bring them into the house of the Lord. Don't go to somebody else's church and get them. I don't want somebody else's members. Uh, amen. I want you to go out in the world and get them and bring them into the house of God. Uh, amen. That's what's wrong with a lot of churches now. Pastors are stealing other people's sheep and God's fed up with it. Uh, that's not letting your light shine. Uh, that's being a thief. Uh, and God said he didn't like thieves and robbers. Those that will rise and 
Lord, I pray for those that's watching tonight. Lord, that needs to get out of darkness. Lord, that they need to get into that darkness light. Lord, they need to let Jesus come into their heart and let him shine forth. God, I just pray, God, those that's in that drug, darkness, Lord, that darkness of drugs, Lord, that's overtaking them. I pray, God, to get out of it. Lord, those that's being overtaken by alcohol, Lord, and by the, the smell of it. Lord, God, that's overshadowed in that darkness of that moment. Lord, I pray, God, they find you tonight. I pray, God, that they let the light so shine through. I pray they let Jesus begin to shine more through. Lord, I pray, God, they call out upon your son's name. Lord, you said, those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Lord, you say, man, Lord, confess with their mouth, but their heart is so far from us. But Lord, let them believe in their heart and let them confess, Lord, that Jesus Christ has risen from the dead. Lord, who said they shall be saved? God, same as big old line tonight. Lord, if they be someone watching that's on drugs, in that old darkness of drugs tonight, Lord, with that drug in the darkness of alcohol, Lord, I pray, God, you let them find the light tonight. Let them find it. Lord God, we give you praise, we give you glory, Lord. God, we ask you, Lord, those on Facebook like tonight, Lord, they don't find Jesus. They don't find that light tonight. Lord, those on YouTube and watch it, Lord, they just to know about that light. They don't find it, Lord. Lord, tonight, let them rise and shine, Lord. Lord, those Christians, Lord, it's been in darkness for a long time. Lord, it's been overshadowed. Lord, I pray. Right now, God, that conviction would come on them. Lord, that they'll repent. And Lord, that they'll rise and start shining forth again. God, in the name of Jesus, I God, I give you praise and give you glory in Jesus' name. Praise God, praise God. Amen. I told Brother Danny that 
we would have a special prayer for you tonight. Thank 
said, our ways are not your way. One good God, is our Lord. ways are not your ways. Lord God, God, we know, God, that you got a way. That you're doing what you're doing right now, God. And Lord, we know, God, if we're going to see more of the Lord, we're going to hear of our good news. Lord, Lord, Lord God, we thank you for touching us tonight. We thank you for it, God. We give you praise, Lord. Lord, on the top of his head,
Lord. Nobody else. I want to thank the Lord for being here for everything. He's still me, you know, he's talking about, Boy, he's a, 
I thought he was going to come up off that seat there for a minute. You can. Uh, listen. appreciate y'all. We love y'all. I'll tell you from the bottom of our hearts, big old lies. We appreciate everyone. Man, we we done top the line on big old lies. Amen. We appreciate everybody. We love you. We we appreciate you. Big uh, Facebook Live, we appreciate you. We love y'all. Uh, YouTube, we appreciate y'all. We got hey I, I was talking the other day, hey people have been watching us on YouTube that we didn't even know about. Amen. And ain't that good? Amen. And people was getting on our YouTube channel. Amen. And also, we're also picked for the what? The church uh, in the, the like Americans got talent, but we got the church talent. Amen. But that's all right. We ain't worried about that. Amen. All we worried about is preaching the gospel Amen. and giving God the glory. Amen. Amen. He gets all the glory and the honor of all these people that's been watching on TikTok, been on live, Facebook live. Amen. And YouTube. God gets the glory. He's the head of this church. He'll always be the head of the church. When we move to our other building, he's going to be the head of it. Amen. Amen. But we appreciate y'all. We love every one of y'all. May God bless you. From He's Life to you, be sure to tune us back in Sunday morning at 11 o'clock, a little after when we get it on going. 
Amen. But please, please come and expect God to do something. We love each and every one. May God bless you when He's like in your church is our prayer.